Hi guys, in this quick tutorial I will be painting water drops with oil paints. Now water drops are not complicated at all, they're fairly simple and because I'm using oil paints the um, only two main things I want you to keep in mind is that you want your paint to have a nice flow to it so for this reason I added some liquid fine detail into my paint mixture as well as a little bit of linseed oil. And the second thing you might want to keep in mind is you want to use a small enough brush that you'll be able to work some small details. If your brush is too big, you're going to struggle and your paint, your brush strokes will be too thick for the uh, fine detail that you're looking for. So I'm using a number two brush for this painting. I would have even preferred a zero brush or even a zero zero, but I used a number two and it worked quite nicely. And so I mixed in a little bit of linseed oil and liquid detail and I just paint out the basic shapes of the drop using a lighter color. I've got a very um, small amount of blue mixed in some white. It's a rainy day so I didn't want my white to be too bright. And you want to let your background colors work for you so you're painting a lot less than you need to. You're just basically outlining shapes on top of what you've already painted. So you're just adding a layer on top of what you've already done. And now I'm just going to add a little tiny shadow underneath. Pay attention to your reference to determine what color you should use for your shadow. In this case in some sections my shadows were a little bit browner, in other sections they were a little bit more gray, and on some other parts of the painting on different apples that had more red, my shadows were even a deep dark red. So just really look at your reference photo and try to determine what colors are actually there. What do you really see? Try and train your artist's eyes to um, not see what you think should be there, but what is actually there. Another thing to keep in mind when you're painting water drops is sometimes there are colors being reflected in the drop and these colors will be the surface that is underneath or behind the water drops. For example, if you look on the very top of this apple, you'll see several drops that I've already painted and you'll see how they are a slightly dark pinkish color and that's the color from the apple underneath being reflected. So you want to pay attention to what is really there like I've already mentioned. So to successfully paint water drops you want to make sure you have a small brush or a very fine brush so that you're able to get the fine details. You want your paint to have a nice flow and you want to make sure that you just paint out the basic shape, add the shadows, add highlights where necessary and paint in reflected colors or anything else that is being reflected. So just learn to see what's really on your reference photo and then take it from there and you'll see how it's quite simple and like I said earlier sometimes just let the color that's already there on your canvas do the work for you. And I just want to briefly mentioned that when you saw me using the thicker fluffier brush that was just an old beat up dry brush that I used to smooth out everything as I worked. And now I'm going to speed things up just a little bit as I finish painting the rest of the drops.
And here's the final painting. As you can see, a lot of water drops were painted in this piece. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.